Greetings to our Christians United for Israel family here in America and around the world. Today I'm talking about Are You Hard of Hearing? 1 Kings 19.12 reads, And after the earthquake of fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire a still small voice. Are you hard of hearing? There was a woman who went to her pastor and said, Pastor, my husband has a problem he never hears anything that I say. And the pastor said, that's not a problem. That's a spiritual gift. <laughs> For years, my wife, Donna, kept telling me, John, you're hard of hearing, and you need to go to the doctor and have your ears tested. I always responded that I hear everything I need to hear. Persistence overcomes resistance. After listening to this for several years, I went to the audiologist to have my ears tested. She put the hearing devices on my ear and told me to press the button every time I hear a sound. She left the room and I sat there listening for the sounds to begin. There was nothing, absolutely nothing. The doctor came into the audio lab with me and she said, have you, have you started the test? And she responded, the test is over. You're very hard of hearing. Needless to say, I've been wearing hearing devices from that day until this one. Some of us in the church are spiritually hard of hearing. We tune God out until he has to tune it up. And believe me, God can turn the volume up until he gets your undivided attention. One way God turns up the volume is through earthquakes. There was an earthquake on the resurrection morning that opened the grave of Jesus Christ, not to let him out, but to let us in. To those who were hard of hearing, it was a moment that shook the Roman Empire and the world. Matthew 28 reads, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. There was an earthquake that set Paul and Silas free, from the Philippian jail. The book of Acts records stating, quote, but at midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. That's where jailhouse rock got its start. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone with chains were freed. The book of Revelation is full of earthquakes as God announces seven years of tribulation communicating to the masses of planet Earth who are spiritually hard of hearing. Believe me, God is in charge of planet Earth and he can get your attention. He's not an imbecile sitting benignly in the heavens, out of touch and out of control. God's not wringing his hands over the acts of the ungodly. The Bible says, he that sits in the heavens shall laugh them to scorn, Psalms 2-4. God is giving planet earth a horse laugh in that verse. He's not concerned about the earth's powerful army. He's not concerned about their atomic power or riches and wealth. He can snatch it away quicker than dust can hit the ground. If the coronavirus has proved anything, it proves how quickly and totally the rich and the powerful can become helpless. There is no escape from the hand of God. He's not threatened by the rich and powerful, for every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Take time today to listen for that still small voice showing the right path to take. If you don't and refuse to be hard of hearing to for an extended period of time, you can expect a personal earthquake. God Almighty will get your attention. Are you listening? Are you listening? That's God's word for today. I'll see you tomorrow.